Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson setting up the screen for Cook. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Mitchell. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Now Jackson on first down. Again, it's OBJ back-to-back -back catches. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Jackson. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. They run over center with Mitchell. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. To throw is Jackson, dancing to his left. And yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Throwing to start the drive. Allen caught right side, Davis. Down the right sideline. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down on the other side of midfield. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To the air, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Cook able to... And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Thank you. 
The Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Steps away to his left. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Jackson to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Mitchell. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. From the 28, it's second and five. They'll try the middle with Cook, and he'll get this one down to about the 27. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn upfield and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Allen off the play fake. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Reggie Gilliam from a yard out. And the Bills go up by two touchdowns. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Now it's Jackson being chased out left. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. First down, here's Mitchell. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. And now Jackson will look to throw it. It's caught, Mitchell. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. Here's Jackson. 
Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> middle of the field, diving to grab it? No, he didn't. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Once again, it's Mitchell. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Allen now on first down. And bringing it in, it's Davis. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Allen going to throw. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Now Allen again. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Allen. And he's got his man on the out route. Uh, he's going to be brought down there in the field of play. And the clock will run no timeouts. They will not have the chance to bring out the field goal unit. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, Bills with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And, Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game. So probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game. And down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. On first down, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Allen now looks to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. 
And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because... You don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Here's a toss right side to Mitchell. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Duvernay in motion. They'll fake the jet sweep. And now it's Jackson off play action. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Pick made by Terrell Bernard. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Kyle Van Noy in on the stop. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second down, here's Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Two yards on the pickup there. Third and seven now. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So all things considered, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now with a 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple of two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence. And it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Now Jackson. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Let's go! 